What's up guys and welcome back to another video right onto my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to basically tell you how to fix FPS drops or stutters in Borderlander 3. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial in order to help you out and in the end you'll probably know what to do in order to fix these issues. Yeah guys, before we start right into the video, I'm going to need you guys to know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right onto my YouTube channel. It would really make my day, especially as a little YouTuber as I am and it would really support my journey here at YouTube. Subscribing is free for you guys and would be a massive support for me, so be sure to hit the subscribe button. It will really support my work here, and I'm just gonna thank you for that right now and just say, let's get right started. So in order to fix your FPS drops or frame drops in some way, starters, whatever, uh, the first step is gonna be to open up your task manager by using the shortcut or navigating down to your taskbar, right clicking it and opening up your task manager. Um, once you're here, I want you to look for your CPU and GPU usage and basically just uh, end every single task by right clicking it and clicking on end task, which is currently having too much GPU, uh, CPU usage, especially low end PCs. This will help you a lot with your FPS drops. As, um, the next step is going to be to navigate to the top left corner of your screen, hitting startup. And uh, here, once you also to disable every single program. Once you did that, I want you to close the task manager. And the next step is going to be to uh, basically just search an empty spot right onto your desktop and uh, hit uh, right click, hit display settings. And uh, what I want you to do at display settings is go down and go down to display resolution and check if you have the same resolution as in game. So especially if you have in game like 1720 by 1070, I want you to apply this also to your display resolution. Once you did that, you're going to close this one down. The next step is going to be to go to the bottom left corner of your screen, opening up your settings. What I want you to do here is going to go to gaming and stick to your X Xbox game bar. What I want you to do here, you can see it, you, I want you to turn it off because especially on bad PCs or low-end PCs, the Xbox game bar will really come without any benefit and it will re really impact your performance. I want you to turn it off so you'll uh, have less issues with FPS drops. The same is for captures. I want you to click captures and go down to record in the background while I'm playing a game. Uh, what I want you to do right here is turning it obviously off, especially if you have it on without noticing it. This will all the time record your game for two hours in the background and you will, won't really notice it anyway and it really it re would really impact your uh, performance so just turn this off the next step is going to be to go back and hit update in security what i want you to do right here is basically download the latest version of windows especially if you're outdated this could lead to crashes fps drops stutter what uh, stutter whatever so download the latest version and this will also provide the best possible performance for your PC. Once you did that, I want you to go down or click, uh, turn this down and uh, also do the same thing for your graphics card. So if AMD, you have Nvidia, doesn't really matter. Go to your application, go to your browser and download the latest version. Once you did that, that's it for the video, guys. I hope I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. I'm really going to thank you for that. I'm sorry if it didn't help you, but for me, it fixed it. I'm just trying to do my best in order to help you. And either way, guys, yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.